first one will be in English. The second the second time I read it, it will be in my, my native language, Icelandic. <laughs> so if you listen carefully, you might see uh, the, the differences. <laughs> <laughs> right. Pol Pot, not a pantoum. The unscrupulous dictator Paul Pot was standing in the lavatory of a rather shady brothel, urinating while surrounded by pop stars. Paul Pot was the victim of personality growth oppositional disorder, as well as Parkinson's disease. A victim of the plague, too. He was urinating in his briefs while wearing a traditional Icelandic woman's costume. <laughs> He had feet made of paper, which were themselves the victims of flatulence. Paul Pot was all in all a bewigged panther torn in tatter. His feet's flatulence was reminiscent of a certain Plutonian DJ's tomfoolery, <laughs> invariably causing the rabble to pass the collection plate on Paul Pot's behalf. The aforementioned tomfoolery consisted of playing top 40 hits for teenagers with makeup and pillows shaped like testicles. While couples kept a keen eye on Paul Pop, our glitter-friendly trickster, and Pop adored water birds played the entire musical Pirates of Penzance on a harpsichord, some kazoos in a powder case. The unscrupulous dictator would then proceed to urinate on the instruments with his energetic penis. <laughs> Being a victim of personality growth oppositional disorder while finding himself in the lavatory of a rather shady brothel. Ja, <laughs> <laughs> 